It's hard to do the hard work of preaching, and there's not much reward. Um, I think the way we keep our nerve, keep our courage, keep our energy, is to keep re-identifying ourselves with the preachers that are prominent in the revelation of, of, the, of our Bible in, in our scriptures. Um, just a few stories keep us, can keep us honest and faithful to the pulpit. Isaiah, I think the greatest preacher of the, uh, in the Hebrew, among the Hebrew people, was a failure. He was given his great vision in Isaiah 6, um, this powerful, powerful vision, and he was told that nobody was going to listen, and they didn't. They didn't listen. He was a failure, total failure. Everything he prophesied to get them to repent, they did not repent. The last word in that chapter 6 is there's a holy seed. The whole, the whole forest is going to get cut down. Stumps, just stumps. But there's a holy seed in that stump. And Jesus was the holy seed. But without that preaching that lay dormant for all those years, what would have happened? Um, I think John of Patmos is the greatest preacher in the New, in the New Testament. Um, there's no evidence that anything much happened in those seven churches he preached to. They're pretty lackluster. Um, but out of that lackluster, dullness, flatness, faithfulness of John, the whole thing came alive. And the whole worship became established as the center thing that the church did. And Paul wasn't very much of a triumphalist in terms of preaching. I mean, he, foolishness. Well, who wants to do something foolish your whole life? But it does. I mean, it is. By all the standards our, our, our uh, culture gives us, it is pretty foolish. And I think, you know, one part of that is, I'll just throw this in, is um, I think the emphasis on communication kills preaching. Preaching is not communication. It's not trying to say it simply, clearly. It has to allow for ambiguity. Clear communication does not produce good preaching. And we need to learn from poets um, how, to, how this happens. Uh, Billy Collins has a poem, which I love, uh, about, um, I think it's Poetry Workshop. And uh, he strapped the poem into a chair and then start beating the meaning out of it. Well, there are a lot of sermons like that. That's not, that's not preaching. It might be communication, 